So, welcome to this vlog. I don't even know where to start this vlog. I am going to South America with my dad. So, just give you a backstory. My dad is a pilot and ever since I was like 14 years old, I've always wanted to go with him. You can only go with if you're above 18 years old. And I'm 20 right now. When I turned 18, I was in the US. And after that, there were just some circumstances why I could not go with. And today is the day that I'm actually going. I'm most excited not just to go to these places, just because to see how like his whole process because all my life he has been a pilot and then he would go and be gone for like 11 days or nine or whatever i don't know i just wanted to see the process of like from my house to getting to all these places and then going back i love the airline industry and just like everything evolved around airports and airlines i'm obsessed with it ever since i've been a little girl i've loved it i'm so excited okay <laughs> so rough so it's currently 2 30 in the netherlands that means it's like 10 30 ish here it's like a four hour um difference so last night it was crazy i didn't vlog much this morning around like i think nine o'clock dutch time we arrived to the hotel and then we went to bed actually right away and i did get a stamp yesterday i'm gonna find it yesterday it was just so weird because you flew through the night i slept for like a good six and a half hours i think here we go look at that beautiful i'm not sure what we're gonna do exactly today i mean we still have it's only like the morning so we still have all today and all of tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna go cycling i think and um well this city isn't really that uh interesting according to my dad also going to a japanese grill which i'm really excited about i'm gonna shower because it's really needed and then i think we'll head out the door to go eat It's just been such a crazy trip already and I haven't had time to just sit down and talk about it but I will as soon as I can. in really quick and just telling you stuff because something i've realized is i did not organize this vlog very well this trip was so cool it was better than i expected and also i, I just cannot compare it to any other trip the thing was it was chaos because everything was new so i did not know what i could document what i couldn't document first of all campinas the study wasn't that interesting like my dad said already but the culture was kind of interesting to me though the last night we actually went out for drinks and then we had like these plates you could i think i have a clip of it and 
what that meant is that like after you finish your beer you um, they will bring you another plate and then they just put the beer on the table and then by the end of the night you will have like these plates and then that's how how they can like calculate what you have to pay because you pay per like the same prices per per plate even though the city wasn't that great it was really fun with my dad and with his colleagues it was really yeah, it was really interesting. So the next day you're gonna see is uh, Tuesday, I believe. And the first time thing I'm saying is we just got calling. So if you don't know what calling is, it means that um, you literally have like a wake up call. And um, that means that an hour after that, you have to be downstairs because the cab is gonna take you and pick you up and go to the airport. So that's what we had. So this day we fl first flew to Buenos Aires and then we had a layover there. Uh, well, lay layover is not really a thing because you're not switching planes. We just had to stop, unloaded the freight, reloaded some new freight, and then we went to Quito. So that's where you're gonna see right now. So we just had Colin and we're about to go to the Hello, so we're currently flying. I promised you a tour of the upper deck, like where we're staying. So this is it. I'm filming it with my phone because I have headphones and then the audio will be better. So it all starts right here. This door connects the upper deck from the lower deck. Um, the lower deck is like freight and like cargo and everything. So when you go through the door, first thing you see is this wall of things you might need in case of an emergency. Then when you turn to the right, there are six business class, well, very old bit, old fashioned business class uh, seats. And then behind there are like two sleeping, sleeping cabinets, but I can't really show them right now because someone is sleeping. Then when you turn around and walk over, here's a bathroom. It's not really, not, nothing really like special about it. It's just a uh, airplane bathroom. Then when you turn around, here's our kitchen. Beautiful. We got some tea, we got some coffee, we got an oven. And this is like the fridge, I guess. Ooh, we got some turbulence. There's some more space over here. I don't even know what's in it. Then over here is the emergency exit and the slide. Okay, and then lastly, the cockpit. <laughs> this is where I used to sit.
hotel. And now we're gonna go to the airport and then go to Miami. I forgot to show you this yesterday. These are some packets. This trip went by so crazy fast and even though it's a week you're still like in the plane for so long like that's I don't know like it went just went so extremely fast it was crazy yeah Miami we only had a day and a half I thought I filmed more there but apparently I didn't or I just lost the footage and I just don't remember any of it first day we literally the only thing we did was we went shopping I don't know if my dad really liked it but I, I found it very fun and I'm um, so sorry dad and then the second day we just went to Miami Beach and just like you know did the touristic things uh, my dad has seen it like a million times but I hadn't so that was really fun as well and then we ate Taco Bell my favorite ever and um, that was for lunch I think and then we had to like sleep in Miami that's where I got the most tired I think because you know changing time zones every time like trying to adapt to like the local time there and just jet lag and stuff. One thing I forgot to mention is when I, we got to Amsterdam, I got to sit in the cockpit, like not just to like sit in the back, but I got to sit in the seats, the front seats. Of course I cannot do that while, while they're flying. And it was so cool. I got a couple of pictures. I also got this Snapchat video, I believe. And it was just so cool. By that point I was so delirious. I was so tired. And then we drove back and we had this beautiful sunrise and it was just amazing. Or it wasn't the sunset. I don't remember. Anyway, I want to thank my dad so much for giving me this opportunity and just like letting me go with him. And also for like the, the gezelligheid, the fun times. Now that I've seen the process, like I love it even more, I think. I mean, it is hard. Definitely, pilot life is definitely so hard. And I have so much more respect for it, I guess. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have a good day. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye.